when Harper Lee wrote Go Set a Watchman in 1957, her editor said, well, this is all very good, but why don't we just put that in a drawer and have you write To Kill a Mockingbird instead? When To Kill a Mockingbird came out in 1960, it, was, it became a instant literary classic. When asked why she never wrote again, she said, I've said what I wanted to say, and I'm not gonna say it again. Welcome to Connecting Consciousness, Illinois. I'm Stanley Smith. Connecting Consciousness is a worldwide network of like-minded people. When we're all connected, we're encouraged and empowered individually and collectively. And what, what are we encouraged about? Well, we're encouraged about raising our own consciousness, and we're doing that individually together. I live in downtown Chicago, where all we're allowed to talk about is the weather and what color the flowers are on Michigan Avenue. And at church, we're only allowed to discuss the party line about race, gender, and sexism. That's why Connecting Consciousness is such a great opportunity for members to share ideas, concepts, and experiences. Last Saturday, Lisa Risley gave a presentation on the topic of homesteading. Homesteading, being connected with the physical world in a way that supports and sustains us. Risa said that it's one of the best, one of the best tools we have is our mind to problem solve and navigate in good times and in challenging times. Risa also differentiated between prepping and holistic living. During our meditation and visualization together on a Saturday call, we explored the topic of our thinking mind, our ego, and our higher consciousness all working together in this life to fulfill what we are called to do and accomplish right here now in this time and place in world history. This Saturday, we will continue our conversation with Jody Harrington, who will share her presentation on Ascension. Jody presented this topic at the statewide gathering in Springfield last month, and she talked about our thinking mind, our ego selves, and our higher consciousness. We all love juicy intel. We, we gobble it up and it's very satisfying. To our ego, we all look pretty good and we're pretty sure that what we believe is correct and that our way is the right way. But on the consciousness level, we know there's more, more to life, more to life than just seeing everything as a problem to solve or as a way to position ourselves in the most favorable light. It's about being who we are as God sees us and the way he created us, how we navigate the moral, moral universe with integrity, poise, and balance. Are we waiting for the big reveal? Yes, yes we are. And part of that big reveal is to change our own hearts. And this allows us to see that it's already happening. Each week on our Saturday call, we have a short meditation and visualization in our visualization, we've been exploring the theme of the summer vacation, heading off on a summer road trip across the nation, past the St. Louis Arch, Mount Rushmore, and Glacier National Park. Because, because we're from Illinois, we're all excellent drivers, and we pass up the slower drivers on the road. Wherever your life journey is taking you here in Illinois or elsewhere in the Connecting Consciousness family, around the world. It is truly a pleasure to be fellow travelers with you in this amazing time in world history. We all have something to say, and it's time to take what we have to say out of the drawer and share that with others. Let our consciousness be our watchman and put the foot on the accelerator and allow ourselves and others to move ahead on the highway to higher consciousness individually together. If you would like to learn more about Connecting Consciousness Illinois, I will include my email in the description of this video. The Saturday statewide call is every Saturday at 9 a.m. Central Time on Zoom, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.